professionally silly viewers. Uh, my name is Amber Smiles Jones for those of you who are watching this channel for the first time. It would be crazy if I didn't make a statement about what's going on right now. It would be insane if I ignored the fact that black men and women and children are being murdered by the police and it's been happening for decades. I've been paying attention and I wanna know if you've been paying attention to. I mean, clearly, if you don't know what's going on right now, you're, un you're living under a rock. There is a movement going on right now. And there is a lot of false information going on right now. Hey, hey, look. I want you to know this is not. This is don't police people's way of Let me tell you this. This is not a black woman who's putting Black Lives Matter. I just want you to know that when right, but y'all y'all doing that for us, and we ain't asked you to do that. If, if we wanted you to do it, we would have asked. They not gonna show y'all faces when they see that on their building. They gonna blame that on us. Y'all are part of the problem. I'm with y'all. Fuck Trump, but don't be doing this wild shit. Who just been there? I don't nobody else. Better not see this fire. Don't feed that fire shit. Man, then I say don't feed this motherfucking fire. Cause stop that shit. Come on, bro. I ain't with Trump either, but don't do this wild shit. Y'all don't land here with the fuck. Yeah. Don't feed the fire. Don't feed the fucking fire. Y'all don't feed that shit. Come on, bro, don't do that wild shit, bro. Y'all don't live here. Y'all going home and this shit over with. We live here, man. What the fuck? Don't come fuck our shit up. Well, he don't do no shit like that. Stop feeding the fucking fire. All right. Next person feed the fire. I'm going to slap the shit out of him with this. I ain't even going to slap him with that. They going to have to see me. And your family. And your friends. Are you going to tolerate their shit? No. But I live here. Go fuck y'all shit up. Where you live at? I asked him where you live at. Be honest. Where? Yeah, where? You live in Washington, D.C.? Oh, Virginia. It's not too far. Man, go fuck your yeah, VA Commonwealth. They gonna grill your ass you do some shit like this. Really? This is the yeah. capital. Yeah. This Guess is the United what? States capital. I live here. Stop the bullshit. Don't come here with all this shit. What? This shit in the way. Yeah, that shit stink. What? And I'm wondering if you guys are paying attention to your favorite influencers and your favorite YouTubers, podcasters, politicians, rap artists, rock stars, athletes, actors, businesses, corporations, what have you, are you paying attention? Are they taking a stance? Are they against us? Are they with us? Are they saying anything at all? Because I gotta be honest with you, these people who were saying nothing, they're trying to stay neutral, but when you're neutral, you don't move anywhere, you don't go anywhere until somebody gives you a push. Think about it. You're in your car, you're having some car troubles or whatever, all right? But you got to get your car out of the dangerous area that you're in, which is the a busy street. So what do you do? Hopefully you have somebody with you. You put your car in neutral and you get out and push and somebody steers the car. You can't be <laughs> in neutral because <laughs> you're not going to go anywhere without some help. I'm tired of it. I am tired of crying. I am tired of being angry. I am tired of feeling ignored. I am tired of not being heard. I'm tired of being invisible unless you suspect me of a crime that I have not committed. Sick and tired of being sick and tired, God damn it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm almost positive that YouTube will probably demonetize this video or at the very least give this video limited monetization because it's not suitable for certain advertisers. And to that I say, why would you have advertisers that what I'm saying wouldn't be suitable for? Black Lives Matter, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what business or company you work for, they matter. And I'm still gonna post this fucking video. So YouTube, if you wanna demonetize it, go on ahead. That's fine. The message will still be heard. How come when I say black lives matter, a lot of you idiots hit me back with the all lives matter bullshit. Listen, that's already a given, okay? I discussed this on my podcast actually recently, which I just uploaded this past 
uh, this past Friday on the Professionally Silly podcast. Let's say, for instance, okay, uh, your house is on fire, okay? So you call the fire department, they come, the, the guys got on their suits and their mask and they got the water ready with the big ass hoses and then they're ready to do their thing, okay? So some asshole comes out as they're about to get to work to save your house and they're talking about, what about my house? And you look back and you're like, well, honey, your house isn't on fire. We need to focus on this situation right now. Yeah, but all house matters. All houses matter. What you talking about? Well, honey, lady, listen, I got to take care of this one. This is on fire right now. That's what that's saying to me. It's, you're, it's like you're protesting my protest and it, it's, it's, it's fucked up. And I do not respect you for it. I don't need to be reminded that your life matters. I already know that. But the problem is that you're forgetting that your life is not currently in danger right now. Mine is. I'm the one who has to be extra careful when I walk down the street. If I walk by police, I'm not going to lie. My heartbeat definitely increases. It definitely does. I got to make sure that my hands are visible. If they ask me for my ID, I got to reach slowly. I have to announce what I'm doing before I do it. Some of y'all, it's crazy the privilege that you have. I've actually, I've actually been to grocery stores with some of my white friends. And you know, when you, when you're about to check out, they go ahead and they grab themselves like a bottle of Coke or water or something. And they start opening it and they drink it before they pay for it. And then we walk out and they're like, oh shit, I forgot to pay for that. And I'm like, man, I could never do that, bro. I could never forget to pay for something. I can't. And it feels weird walking into a store without buying something. It, because I know they're watching me. I went to the protests. Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor! I got to experience firsthand all the rage that all these people felt because before I got a chance to go to the protest, I was crying and I was raging and I was angry. And it seemed like Twitter was my best friend because Instagram just wasn't fucking angry enough for me. And YouTube, I mean, I can find the things that I need, but I got to really search for it. But none of that shit is trending. You know what I mean? Unless a celebrity is speaking, which is really frustrating. By the way, fuck Trina. Go ahead and throw that out there. <laughs> yeah. Trust me when I say you definitely want to take a listen to the, um, to the last podcast episode that I posted on the Professionally Silly Podcast. I'm going to make sure I include the link down below. And it's, it's, it's entitled, I've got something to say. Because I do. There's even a part of the podcast where I got a chance to hear from one of my friends, uh, her son. His name is TJ, he's 11 years old, and he shared what he felt about what's going on. I'm gonna share that moment with you right now, but if you wanna hear the rest of the podcast, the link will be down below. Uh, my podcast is available anywhere that podcasts are, like literally like 11 or 12 different platforms. So yeah, take a listen to this. My name is TJ and I'm 11 years old. I wanted to discuss the situation and how I feel about it. I'm scared of what might happen to my family and friends. I'm b black and I'm scared that this might happen to me too. I hope once the cops go to jail, we keep fighting to the end and, and to end this permanently because black lives do matter. I hope you guys are safe out there. That is coming from an 11 year old child and he's afraid. And the sad part, the sad part of that is that he should be because of the world that we live in. But he shouldn't be. Stand up for I the They get chilled on the day. Talk to me. I understand. How do you? I'm tired of this. How do you? I'm 45 years old. 45 man. and I'm 31. And I'm tired of seeing this. And you the man. older generation than me and I right. am too. And we've been standing but around as something. the older ones. Taking all this bullshit. Always hoping for a kumbaya fucking y'all. Come here. Always standing around for a kumbaya y'all. Ain't nobody coming to protect us. Let me tell you We something. gotta start our own fucking life. I understand. But let me tell you something right here. This 16. He's 16. Oh and they gonna kill him next week. He's 16. What we gonna do? You tell me. What we gonna but do? This ain't the way. Cause they ready to let loose. If the United States president say. If you knew we shoot, then you know see going this way. I know it. It's always the way. But it's time to stand up. So at, this point, at this point, 
I'm ready to die for what's something. going on. Let me tell you something. That's the problem that we got. What you see right now, it's gonna happen 10 years from now. And at 26, you're gonna be doing the same thing I'm doing. You understand that? 10 years. You're gonna be right here too. But he also got to So what I need to do right now at 16 is come up with a better way. Cause how we doing it, it ain't working. He angry at 46. I'm angry at 31. You angry at 16. It's over, You understand me? Putting yourself in harm's way is not the way. No, it's not. You and the other your counterparts the same age and that have that same power. Y'all coming with a better way. Cause we ain't doing it. Oh my God. And I have a five year old son. Oh my God. And it ain't happening. Mm. I marched four years ago. Keep Lamont Scott did the same shit y'all doing. The same exact thing night after night after night. It don't matter. Come up with a better way. You understand me? You keep yourself safe. I just need all of you guys to pay attention. If you can't protest, that's understandable. There's a still a pandemic going on, but there's still things that you can do. You can donate your money. You can donate your time. You can post. You can retweet things. If you're not black and you are a part of a group of people who you know hate us, who you know show fear for no reason towards our people, then please do me a favor and educate your peers, your family, your friends. You can't stay neutral. That's the bystander effect. You ever heard of the bystander effect when just a bunch of people stand by and just think, oh, well, somebody else will take care of it. That is how things get lost in the cracks when people stand by and do nothing. Hi guys! Shut the fuck up! Who the fuck is she? Who the fuck is she? I think you need you! You don't have a fucking Bye! Get the fuck out of here! Single fuck! Pussy! Fuck you! Genie, you literally- The fact that there are people who find what happened to George Floyd funny. God, that enrages the shit out of me. They're laughing. They're laughing at our pain. They're laughing at his death and they're mocking. They're mocking us and it's wrong. I'm so tired of being afraid. God damn it. I'm so angry all the time and I'm tired of being angry. I don't understand why they won't let us be. To the Breonna Taylors, the George Floyds, the Mike Browns, the Emmett Tills and the many, many, many others before and after them. Don't forget their names. Don't forget our struggle. Don't forget our pain because it's real. You wanna know why the entire world is burning down? Why the entire world is protesting right now? Because it's time for a change and everybody sees it except for those small groups of people who just want to stick to their hatred. And I don't get it. So before we end this episode, let's just sit here in silence and we'll only do it for 20 seconds. 20 seconds of silence. Feels like a long time to sit there and do nothing, right? Well, imagine those 20 seconds were nine minutes. We still have a chance. We're still here. We're using our voices. We're being seen and we're being heard. Don't slow down now. Keep up the momentum. And now see you guys in the next one. Wow.
wow, this is nothing but straight facts. A lot of y'all are vocal about the looting, but silent about the murder. Let's go over something. We're gonna call this series, White People Rioting for No Reason. Ready? Let's go. Exhibit one, which is right here, rioting after a surf competition. Exhibit two, rioting after their football game lost. Exhibit three, rioting after their baseball team won. Next exhibit, rioting because their hockey team lost. Next exhibit, rioting after their favorite coach lost their job because he ignored child sexual abuse. Another exhibit, rioting because their baseball team won. Wow! So as you can see with this exhibit, this is nothing but facts. White people riot to get haircuts and because their team won or lost, we riot because the police are killing us. This the purpose. setup. They put them there on purpose. Y'all know where bro. we at. They gonna set them on right up on the rail. Y'all yeah, know what building this Come is right here. Now. I ain't even gonna say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks we go gotta to? do better. Ain't no damn. Gotta construction. do better. Ain't no damn. I don't. And I know it's an individual. Not every cop is f***ed up. But when I hear some f***ed up happen to a cop, I'll be like, eh, he probably had a f***ing coming. Because okay. the mother like you. Good cops get f***ed up raps because of people like you. You came to the car with your gun out. For what? Do you have no conscience? Of, you don't see what the f*** going on on TV? You But you don't give a f***, right? Because I just would have been another dead black motherfucker, right? And you just would have went about your business, right? 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 That, let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. I have no issue if you could just, just be honest, right? You just would have been like, oh, a mistake happened. Right? You'd have been there to just wake up the next day, not lose a drop of motherfucking sleep. But I'd have had three fucking kids. Three kids with no dad. Dad a criminal? Nope. Dad a thug? Nope. Dad shot. Why do you burn down the community? Why do you burn down your own neighborhood? It's not ours. We don't own anything. We don't own anything. There is, Trevor Noah said it so beautifully last night. There's a social contract that we all have. That if you steal or if I steal, then the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. So the social contract is broken. And if the social contract is broken, why the fuck do I give a shit about burning the fucking football hall of fame, about burning a fucking target? You broke the contract when you killed us in the streets and didn't give a fuck. You broke the contract when for 400 years we played your game and built your wealth. You broke the contract when we built our wealth again on our own by our bootstraps in Tulsa and you dropped bombs on us. When we built it in Rosewood and you came... Let's talk things that happened in Minneapolis, cop standpoint, right? I am disgusted with the things that happened in Minneapolis. Pure, plain, blank. Things could have went way different. At the end of the day, let's talk facts. Guy is on the ground. He's laying on his stomach. He have handcuffs on. It's four of y'all, one of him. Four of y'all, one of him. Who has control of this situation? It's not much one person could do against four people. Now let's get deeper, right? As an officer, you are a first responder, right? So if in the midst of you trying to gain compliance, someone is hurt, you have to render aid. So somebody's saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You don't think to yourself and say... Oh my gosh, this guy can't breathe. He might die. Let me render aid, right? Another point, officers, other officers, if you're going to be an officer that's going to stand there and not help and not help when things go wrong, come on. Like, you don't see that? That's the reason I got behind this badge, right? Because I want them officers that's afraid to step up, I want to be the one to step up. If I see wrong happening, wrong is not happening in my presence, right? I'm going to check it. And that's period. Do y'all see that? He's standing on the corner by himself protesting. Do y'all see this? He did what? That changed the world. That changed the world. <laughs>